would have liked a little bit better of Blanc. Maybe not. Really good job there. John Ross, man. The effort. The tiniest things are turning out to be so big. If only my three wives would have saw that. What is going on, guys? We are back with another video on our 49ers franchise. It is week six going against the Rams, the Cardinals. Not a crazy hard fight for us. However, you know, we're learning to play some football without two big names. One of them, the biggest name, Matt Breida and Petrowski, the rookie who was starting to get things going. There goes his potential. <laughs> However, you know, last game, Derrick Henry with a superstar development upgrade from a scenario. Same with Debo, but for stars. So some new stars emerging in this offense, and we'll see how it goes. You know, and Derrick Henry with armbar makes him 10 times more deadly than he was before, without a doubt. And then Debo Samuel, I'm not sure how this affects him long term with us. However, before the trade deadline, we might be able to catch him for a nice trade. I mean, right now, Debo with star development could be worth around a second round pick. Let me know what you guys think, though, because once again, you know, we have some receiving options on this team, but we can't keep them all. And I know, you know, Petrowski got hurt and, you know, you want the depth, but we need to get as much value as we can as well, because we obviously can't afford everyone. We're already paying a ton of money out for this team to be as good as it is. And then looking at the defensive side of the ball. Still healthy, looking good. Echo with another sack last game, I believe. Cornerback, you know, another another factor we're going to have to look at in the offseason. Quan Alexander with Superstar X Factor. Same with Fred. Gives us one of the best linebacking groups in the league. Josh Jackson can't tackle worth a lick, but he is in position a lot. I just want to see that turn into turnovers. And speaking of turnover, maybe turn over your phone screen to the like and subscribe button i don't know maybe follow me on twitter drone pk as well i need uh i need some conversations david johnson with player of the week lamar jackson with player of the week really good game there i need some people to conversate with me there so go over there and follow me and talk to me i don't know it's something how do you want to hair handle aaron Do we don't want to um can we just disregard him don't understand our offensive line donald's a great password we've got some good blockers winning is paramount just don't test Donald if he's in the zone. Not worth it. Yeah, there. Thank you. That that's perfect. That's what I need in the future. Just just beat him. You know, don't do anything flashy. Just win. Uh, Trey Flowers a three-year, twenty-three million dollar deal at the age of twenty-six is pretty fair. So I don't know how much money we have. Ooh. So we can afford like one player. I don't even actually know if we can because I'm not a super math expert, but. Nah, to be fair, Sherman is way more expensive. So, yeah, we can definitely afford Trey. We'll lose our center, though, and some other backups. So, I don't know. We'll see. This is going to be a team that does need to get cheaper. And, obviously, with Debo needing a contract next year, we might have no choice but to trade him at the deadline, boys. I'm just saying. Will that's accuracy or power? I mean, obviously, I want power. But, let's be honest, probably not going to get an upgrade points. Oh, oh. Okay, that uh, was pretty freaking clutch. He's got 65 awareness, and he's still got a kick power. 98 kick. I love you. I, I just love you. That's all I can tell you. Let's go with Agile. I suppose we never do it, so we get run block. Okay, fair enough. What's his abilities right now? He's looking pretty good. I got to go speed rusher because I need... I Oh, I need some eliteness. Excel, finesse, block. That was a really good upgrade. What is it? Finesse specialist. Oh, that's good. Oh, DeForest Buckner has turned into an elite defender now. Uh, that's good. That's good stuff. I don't know what we want for Dante. Do you want Route Runner? I think Deep Threat is the best just in general. Let's go with a Route Runner, though. They gave me multiple options. They were like, don't do it, dude. Don't do it, dude. Don't. And I still did it. Short Route. Uh, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's actually a pretty big upgrade. Okay, so now that the super long intro is over, let's play these ramps. Ooh, prime time. Hell yeah. Oh, Rams looking looking bright in the end zones there. This is a good game. Okay. But not a bit of a show. All right. Calm down. Calm down there. This is one hell of a game, though. This is uh, one of those games you might look back on in the future. Maybe you don't even make the playoffs, or maybe it decides who wins the division. It's a big one. Will Lutz with that power, though. Ooh, maybe that comes into play here. I don't know. It's a pretty... Uh, controlled environment for the most part so i mean i think we know what we're getting into and with that th that kick power we pretty much can max out almost talk girly out on the field they have uh, a pretty good set of skill players but it usually doesn't play out too well for them 
So we'll see. Derek Henry, Nick Bosa. Some names you normally wouldn't see on the list of of the big names, at least for us. Nick Bosa's definitely played pretty well this year, and then Derrick Henry seems to be getting better every week. So maybe those are the two faces going forward. I don't know. Derrick Henry's a tough runner, and he doesn't seem to get injured. So is Breida just not going to be the guy because he's not available? I love Breida to death, but struggling this season and then knocked out for the majority of it. And technically, it's not the majority. I know words are hard, okay? But it's fun to say majority, so then I have excuses. Good job, Bud Dupree. Jared Goff, I would not imagine he's having a great season. Eh, not bad through four games. Outside of yards, it's probably a lot better than our season. All right, Eckel. There goes Buckner. Is Buckner going to just absolutely take off now? I really want to know. Yeah, He's been pretty good without that ability, but... Already there, you've seen him burn it up the middle. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try to use him. Ah, we were wait really late. We were wait. Believe it or not, Josh Jackson's about to get a tackle broken again. Thank God Trey Flowers made it look like he wasn't. Rams starting to move the ball decently. You know, normally they don't do super hot against us. But maybe this is a different game. Not really getting the moves. Oh, speaking of moves, Trey Flowers had the moves put on him. Brandon Cooks all the way down the field for a 54-yard touchdown. Holy crap. All right, John Ross, we need you healthy as well, so maybe we should pull you off the returns now that Breed is out. But we got Trenton Cannon. I believe uh, Henry's going to be available at all times for some reason. Something's telling me that that man just will not ever get hurt for us. As long as you have him, your running back situation's at least settled. Take off the stat. Take it away. In what world would I want to see that stat line? Come on now. What, what do you think this is? Pettis inside. He's pretty damn dependable on that route. I want to see the streak get open, though. You know, Debo had the look. He just didn't get the break. Armbar Derek at your service. Let's see. There you go. Get out of his way. A good gain of nine. All right. So Derek, you know, he's probably not going to be capable of breaking off the huge runs Brita was, but he's going to be capable for a pretty good steady flow of yards now. Inside QT. I mean, you got two superstar plus receivers on the outside, so what else can you really want? Derrick Henry right up the middle. Not going to be able to get much on that. All right, Debo. And there's just nobody open. Maybe have a look on the outside with Pettis, but... No one open. Aaron Donald already has a sack. This is why when the game asks you, hey, what do you want to do with Donald this week? You just, you shouldn't even answer the phone. Like, just leave him. We have the out route look, but I'm just going to chuck this to Debo. I mean, that's all right. That's perfectly fine. We have the kick power. Maybe should have made it a little easier on him, but we have the kick power from Lutz, I believe. Maybe. Oh, that was the perfect kick. If this doesn't go in, no kicker would have put this in. There you go. The higher it goes, the more kick power. I don't know what the perfect is for, though. Does it maybe give you an accuracy bonus? I'm not sure. I don't even know if it's possible to hit the perfect, I, unless you're on, like, a really low difficulty. I haven't seen it, like, literally in any of my franchises so far. It's like, there's a reason for that. You are trash. But I like it. I, I You know, as much as you want to win, you know, the division and all that, I want a competitive division. There you go, Buckner. Oh, Bucky. Got to take him down. Yeah, that strip special is, is terrible, man. I wish there was a little bit more common sense. Like, it's, it's all right right now, but I wish it was a little more common sense for abilities. Buckner. Fred. Wow. How does Nick Bosa get over there and make the stop? That's insane. I don't know who that was. Was it Eckel and Fred? Com com maybe D Ford and Fred Warner? Let's take a look if I can. Yeah, D. Ford and Fred Warner combining to close that gap. And Nick Bosa across the formation. Look at him go. You can see Nick Bosa fighting. Gets around and stops him dead. This is pretty much an all-pettis route. Or play, I suppose. That's one of those plays where, honestly, if if he's not open, it's the play's dead. Good try, Henry. You got to make sure that you make the play on the right player. That's a perfect throw. And Kittle drops the ball. You know, when we had those injuries, he was the guy that immediately stepped up. And he's the guy I can trust, but sometimes I don't know. Pettis has a chance at the first down. He slips it for the... Okay. 
You've been dethroned, Kittle. It's it's Pettis. He's he's the guy. At the end of the day, Kittle's as great as he can be, but if he's dropping the ball as much as he has been, there's there's just no point. Johnny is my guy. No, he's not. Kittle got the pump fake. Didn't want to, but he didn't want to come out, so I had a had a pump there. All right, John Ross. Usually when you're in, people people pay attention to the routes. Ooh, he is naked open. Oh crap, that was not needed. Good run though, still. Didn't think we were gonna get that last second chip. Nice, nice job there. Good cut block. Almost called it a chop block, which is uh, something completely different. But hey, if you can get away with it, doesn't really matter, does it? Damn it, man. Yeah, outside of that very first run, once again, early struggles on the ground. If Pettis can come across the middle and take that that middle linebacker, which he can't, but good job by Ross to get a good chunk, six and a half. Is that Hurd? Good old Hurd, my man. Good play. Halfback ISO, can we slip it in between the right guard? That's where I wanted it, and Culver just, he doesn't win. He gets there, though, so fair enough. You know, it could have been worse, but still, I like. I would like more there for sure. Crap. Throw it away. Jesus, Aaron. All right, Kittle, you could be. You know what? We're going to we're gonna risk it up the middle. John Ross. He's got the speed. Look at him. You just need a couple of creases, and you got to beat the safety, and he can do it. First career rushing touchdown for John Ross. What a play. Going to be another case of the L.A. Rams. Sarnov hot, and then just completely getting doused. Maybe not. Sherman gets beat by the tight end, I believe. Yeah, who the hell is that? Is that Ryan Griffin, the old uh, Texans tight end? I think so, right? I think he's a Texan tight end. I mean, I don't know why I expect anyone to know that, because that's really weird information to even have. Come on, Buck. It's all right. It's all right. All I can tell you is DeForest is a big man. He is literally the size of DeForest. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that joke that joke just did not need to be heard by anyone but my brain. Even my brain's like, help. That looked like a lot of movement from the... Uh... Oh, look at Troy Apke. Oh, look at the speed of Troy Apke. Look at him. Are you for real? Have you not seen the offensive struggles we've had, Mr. Bud? Oh, it was Sherman? Was it? Now, this is just like, for me personally, it doesn't really matter, but... I swear it was Bud Dupree. It was Sherman. I swear I saw 48. I apologize, Bud, but I wouldn't have expected Sherman to make a play like that either. And there goes... Oh! There you go, Derek. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. I'm not a huge fan of Jimmy Garoppolo being absolutely brutalized, but I suppose we got back. Is that not... Is that not a sack for Aaron Donald? Fearmonger. He has two sacks, no? Maybe I'm losing my mind, but tell me he doesn't already have two sacks now. Definitely seems like they just made a mistake, and I will take that mistake. Might have had the running back, but Debo's got to look. If I get a better block there, Debo could follow behind Kiki QT for the touchdown. Could look for the fullback. QT in the back of the end zone could be an option. And there goes another sack. Can we... Uh, I need to find out if there's a way to map your, your different things like release being a is the dumbest well not even release being oh there you go no stiff arm really but just in general like double tapping for play action or uh, pump fake is brutal like you just can't do anything about it wow john to the one i think you have to now john really made this hard on us in a good way you know what i mean not really rpo this is going to be going to kittle if he's open there you go, the RPO for the win. There you go, John Ross, man. I don't know how he holds on to that. Third and six man coverage, locking up Cooks <laughs> with Fred Warner, huh? He is wide open, but the pressure gets there. I think Fred would have cut him off, but Jesus, we should not ever have that look ever again. That's the result of it when we user it. <laughs> um, imagine he, we didn't. He'd have been dead. He would have actually lo we would have lost him for the season because his ankle would have physically broken. Oh, hey there, 59, getting a little handsy. I'm just saying, tell me he didn't get his hand up in the cookie. 
That route, that that look just doesn't win for us anymore. And you gotta remember, the Rams don't have Jalen Ramsey in this universe, so we're getting locked up by, uh, you know, not Jalen Ramsey. There you go. The out route's really the only look that's winning. And there goes Kittle. Kittle, please. Oh, my God. Kittle down to the 22 for a second. I was about to say 82-yard touchdown for Kittle. Nope, but really good. We got to make it obvious because no other way are we going to we're going to get enough blocks to, to gain any yards. There you go, Derek. Throw a guy down. Eight-yard line. I'm not a huge fan of the actual power look, though, because a lot of moving parts. Our offensive line isn't good enough. Gets to the six. I mean, I'm not terribly mad with it. Potentially making it happen. Pettis one-on-one -on -one I do trust, but I also think they might get an animation. So streak Kittle back of the end zone look. And it never goes. Come on, man. That left foot. Can we actually hit a possession if it's high, or is it just going to go over his hands? Is the throw just overthrown? That's what I want to know. Will Lutz with another field goal. He's been earning his upgrade points lately. I'm going to bring Josh Jackson in for a blitz. Going to be leaving ourselves a little exposed, but we're going to drop Warner back a little bit. Huge hit by Fred as well. Obviously, you know, they have a lot of time here, and they definitely look like they're going to go for it, but I feel like this is the best time to try out some blitzes. And there goes Pierce after the blitz. Pierce with a pick. Nice. Right in the same spot of the field as where Apke got a pick. Oh, Jesus. Might look to test him. Now we're going to quick. Ooh, I thought he was going to have him that inside and then out move. All right, Debo, show us you're truly a star. Maybe not. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, more than heavy pressure. I feel like uh, it was hit while you was thrown type of pressure. Inside Debo once again. Debo is going to try to get out of bounds, and he can't. Out route look to Kittle. You know, the out routes have been really good for us. So have the drags. Oh, my God. Nice little chip, though. Risky. Back of the end zone. He holds on to it. The question is, was the left foot down? We got little dude to a big heart. That's all I can tell you. The Brazilians want him. The, the Brazilian uh, tourist harvesters. I think he did it. I think he've done it. Uh, he's done it. Yeah, he's he done it. And sometimes you just got to take a shot. Who, speaking of taking shots... John Ross turning around last second and catching him below. The question is, is that a block in the back? And you trying to get him from behind. That's got to be a block in the back, right? If he would have went down, I think that's a penalty. Really good throw by Jimbo. And he just holds on. How? How does he do that? Craziest part is that they didn't even review it. I was going to say, it's going to make a joke. Crazy part, they didn't have enough time to do anything with it. But that's not really crazy. That's expected. John, he's he's somewhat agile, but he's not the dude. I think if we had Tariq Cohen level agility with John, he would be unstoppable. There you go, Derek. I mean, I'm a little gutsy to cut it out, but I thought, you know, maybe change it up. If it's not working, do fix it. <laughs> Please. Would you, if you don't mind. Oh, God. Only so much he can do. Only so much the offensive line can do. I mean, I saw the, the curl late, but we were already rolled to the left. I might have missed someone. I'm not sure. I'll probably notice it while I'm editing. But first glance, I don't know if I did. John Ross? Got that speed, though. You know, this is a completely different look team now without uh, Brita, but I don't know if I'm too mad about it. There's a good block. Derrick Henry taking, you know, toting the ball for a decent get. A get. Corner post. Do we have the look with Debo? That's the question. We do have the look with Kittle, though. Even though Donald almost made it where we didn't, that man is insane. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to get hurt. I really think so. Whoa, Jesus. What is that coding, by the way? Like, I don't understand what that is. Like, I'm not even saying, like, it's bad coding, which it's not good, but. Oh, come on. There you go. Walked in untouched. But, like, why does it happen? That's what I just want to know. Of course, the game's not over and they're in scoring position, but I thought it was funny. I'm not going to, you know, play it. But <laughs> 34 to 7, they got all I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you say so. Oh, my Lord. 
Fred Warner. That might be the fastest I've ever seen him do anything. He's not for his, known for his speed on this team. That's all I can tell you. Come on, Bucky. Not a chance. Ooh. Had a nice little move there. It's going to be 34 to 10. I'm not sure how that 10 is going to keep him in it, but I guess mathematically it does. But physically, I think you need to touch down every single drive to even have a chance. All I can tell you is Jimmy Garoppolo is putting up big numbers this season. More picks, but bigger numbers. Would have liked a little bit better a block. Maybe not. Really good job there. John Ross, man. The effort. The tiniest things are turning out to be so big. If only my three wives would have saw that. Derrick Henry going to bounce it outside. Really good decision, too. Gets the first down. 12 for 75 and a touchdown. Definitely a bigger game changer now with Armbar. No question asked, which nobody asked a question, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's get back to this look. We came to it in the first quarter with Pettis. And there goes Kittle, who's having another big game. I would have loved to see you run him over there, Kittle. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Could be the dagger. I don't know why. Something tells me this could be a score. For them. Oh, my God. Aaron Donald with his third sack. Are they going to say, yeah, he's in the zone now, or what's the story? Fifth sack on the season. I don't know why I don't believe that. So he's in the zone, so getting the ball off quickly is going to be a must now. Or not. Yup. Good throw, dude. Don't get me wrong. I waited a long time there, but I thought for a split second I had Kittle for a first down touchdown. Kept looking, kept looking. Thank you for blocking. I just chucked this up. That's going to be picked. Or just misread like you were, uh... Damn it, I can't think of what his name is. Raheem Moore, right? Is that who I'm thinking of? I think that's who I'm thinking of. Wisnowski, let's see that punt. Looking pretty good to me. The bounce. Get it. Oh, who? Tony. Was that Tony Brown? What a punt. I know, you know, technically you want the hang time, but I thought we could have got the bounce out. It didn't go out, but it was perfect. He had it. He should have tapped it back in. Fred drops a pick. Really, Fred? Come on, man. Fred's got to make that play there. <laughs> basically sniffing him on that one. Didn't get a pick with uh, Pierce there, though. So basically, their only offense so far has just been... Oh, damn it. Choice, really good play there. But their only offensive points have basically come off of just a lucky 54-yard press. Outside of that, you know, it's been pretty good coverage all across the board. D-line's played pretty decently. Nothing insane, but pretty decently. White, close to the line of scrimmage, makes the tackle. There goes Nick. I mean, how can you get any faster? Like, you literally can't get off the line faster. I couldn't have gotten to him quicker if they just let him go free. If it was a free rush. Kind of like how our defense just gave him a free lane. Blitz time, boys. There's a flag. What is it going to be? Is it going to be a hole or a late hit on the QB? Great. There was no flag. Love it. Come on, Buckner. See you get that sack. Good win. Oh, Quan, you got to hit that. How are we missing hit sticks? Quan just got laid out by his teammate. What, you don't think I'll say he molested? I'll say it. Maku. Good tackle, White. Yeah, I don't think t hit sticking is just in our team's vocabulary. You try to hit stick someone hard outside of maybe Quan or Fred, and that's just more yards for them. <laughs> it really is. Like, there's no other outcome. There you go, Nick. But once again, just what do you want, you know? I'm pressing. Shading the inside because that's literally all the go-to. And thank you, uh, D Ford. You know, we had it covered, but all right. Thank you, dude. Press man inside shading. We might have a chance to burn him. And we don't. And once I... Okay, Sherman had him, and then he just second-winded it right into the end zone. Two-point conversion is pretty much mandatory at this point. And... Okay. Buckner just gaped him. Let's see Kiki Let's see how fast this man is. Really good block. We almost never get a good block on that. Five yard gain. Good job, Kiki. Try to get a little more creative. Oh, you gotta, man. Do I really need to go back to it? That was Brita. <laughs> I'm just saying. There is a really good throw. 
Good job, Pettis. All the way down to the 46. A lot of guys got involved today, and it was a pretty good win. Can't lie. Can't be mad with anyone's performance. Would have liked a little bit more out of Derrick Henry, but, you know, he broke a lot more tackles than he normally would. Offensive line is slightly improved. Nothing insane this game, but they've they've opened up a few holes here and there. Oh, my God. There, there you go, Derrick. Just great blocking, man. Four sacks for Aaron Donald. Look at him. He's a karate man. The fact that John Ross is a better blocker than Derrick Henry is very alarming. Good play to the 43-yard line. I mean, if it was neutral wind, I think we nail this. But with the wind, it's not even a question. I wish the Rams weren't pretenders. And by pretender, I mean pretenders. Like, they just aren't a challenge. And look at this throw. Pierce is going to get his second on the day. And depending on the blocking... Late hit out of bounds. I'm accepting that. You can suck it, Jared Goff. I want a penalty on your grade as well. Adding insult to injury. Yeah, you take that. The quarterback getting called for uh, for unnecessary roughness. That's Now that's a highlight of the day today. If it wasn't for Aaron Donald, Henry would have just had one hell of a highlight play. Forget about it. <laughs> Who cares? Can y'all just let my man Derek live for a moment in his life? He's like four yards. I won't even kick the field goal. I'll just let it go to freaking end of the game. Right up the middle. There you go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Another over 100 game for Derek Henry. A little bit more hard fought this game. A little bit more earned this game as well. 37 to 16. We get a better fight against the Cardinals every time we play them. So there's, uh, there's something for you to to mark down in your calendar, I guess, is not the Niners versus Rams because they're just not a good team. We went into L.A., wherever the hell they're playing, and just smoked them. Just smoked them. <laughs> it looks like they're actually carrying him for a team photo because they're like, yay, MVP. Probably the thumbnail as well. It's a very sick catch that he had, very clutch. I mean, there's not even a question. Just not a chance. They just never had a chance. Going to the ambulance because Jared Goff needs to be in there. To be fair, Jimmy Garoppolo needs to be in there because he was he was hit quite a bit today. And I'm I'm worried about this. I don't know what his longevity is going to look like if he keeps getting pounded like the way he has. And they're not just simple sacks. He's getting absolutely tossed around like my like a salad. What? Jimmy, uh, Jimmy? George Kittle, 119 yards with a touchdown. Uh, Pettis, 77 for zero touchdowns. Debo, 54 yards. Ross, 48 Kiki QT, 35 yards and a touchdown. And Hurd even came in and caught a ball, so that's pretty cool. Sack totals. Eckel had a sack. Buckner had a sack. Fred Warner had a sack. Picks. Apke. Sean Pierce, not bad. Apke had a touchdown, but that was taken away by Richard Sherman. Pretty cool stuff, dude. Uh, Will Lutz had a career game, too. He had some long field goals. He had like a 57 and a 60. Can't remember the other one. Probably, you know, around 48-ish, maybe. And we have some upgrades, so let's go with Fred Warner's run stopping. Because that's really where teams try to beat us and usually do a decent job. Not a great upgrade. And Mike will wait on because I think we have to pay him soon. So, yeah, I'm not going to pay him until I have to. I'm going to upgrade him until we have to pay him. Uh, the Titans, 3-2 and two versus 5-0. and oh. Breakout player, is this going to be a Derrick Henry upgrade this could be derrick henry again they might make a derrick henry an x factor i'm not really sure where else it would go maybe pierce pierce or derrick henry would be my guess it'd be cool if it was echo if it's echo i'm honestly like i'd be willing to throw the game just to lock down whatever part of the field they want him to which is probably the run game so we're we're stacking the box if it is but of course you know me i'm like big cable I'm going to make you tune in to next episode where we face off against our other franchise team that you should watch after watching this. And it's not out or anything, or anything new, but in case you watch this and not the other one. Yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, once again, like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, don't be care. Enough of that nonsense. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!